Hey guys, today I'm going to be opening and reviewing Courtney Moore's collection. Courtney Moore is the newest historical character from American Girl, and she is from the year 1986. So if you are new to my channel, welcome, be sure to click on the subscribe button down below and the notification bell in the course to be notified every time I upload a new video. So I did just want to say a huge thank you to American Girl for gifting me these items so I'm able to open and review them on my channel. This video is a shopper's gift guide so shoppers are able to determine whether or not they'd like to purchase these products. Be sure to let me know in the comment section down below your thoughts and opinions on our collection and what your favorite item is. So let's go ahead and remove all of the accessories and items from the box so we can open and review her items. So the first set we'll be taking a look at is Courtney's TV and fitness accessory set. It comes with a bean bag, a TV, and multiple different accessories as well. So let's go ahead and remove the items out of the box and unwrap all of the packaging so we're able to take a look at the different items. So now that we've removed all of the packaging from the set, let's go ahead and take a look at the first item. So here we have the beanbag chair. It's a bright yellow color and it seemed like it was sealed in the box because it's definitely gotten a lot larger since I removed it from the packaging. It's a really great room accessory item to add into a room setup and the material is really interesting. It's very thin and then the item itself is very lightweight as well. And since the set is also about fitness, there are some accessories themed to that. So first off, there's a jump rope and you can see it's in all different colors, but the handles are purple. And there's also straps as well, so the hand does stay in place. And then there's also hand weights as well. There is a strap too, and it's clear, so you're not able to see it. And it's a pink color to match the hand weights. This item over here is a VHS tape and there's a cover for it as well. So at the front here it says American Girl Aerobics and it features a photo of aerobics and then if we take a look at the back there's some more details to that as well. The VHS itself looks very realistic and you can see there's details both on the back and the front and of course the tape does fit into the cover itself. Each Courtney accessory and outfit set does come with the collector's guide. It says Courtney 1986, and this one is all themed to fitness. So we have the TV and accessories, and we have the outfit for the set as well. When you open it up, it shows the different items. And then when you open the page up again, it has different information about the set. And then we also have this one, and it says fitness fashion. And the main feature item part of the set would definitely have to be the TV. It is very interactive. So there's a screen here and it shows different channels. There's different channel options along here and you're able to adjust that. And then this over here switches it on and off. There is a VHS section so you're able to add in the tape and that opens up. There's also a few different buttons so you're able to control it by playing. There's pause, stop, rewind, and then there's eject as well. There is an antenna, you can open it and close it, but that's just for decoration and there's a clip that holds it in place. So let's go ahead and take a look at the different channel options. So here we have the first channel and it features some music with a music video as well. And over by the side, it says Heather and the song is called Overtime. And as for the next channel, it is static, so it doesn't show any music video or advertisements or anything like that. This channel does feature an advertisement for an electronics store that's featured in the book, and it shows different electronics that you can buy back in the 80s and different prices too. They're showing different items that are part of Courtney's collection as well. So here we have another static version of the TV, and that's another channel option you can choose. And this channel features another music video, but this song is a lot more upbeat compared to the other one. My favorite channel option would definitely have to be this one here, and it features the intro of the Care Bears TV show, the exact same one they used to play back in the 80s, which makes it very realistic, and they also have the music background too. And that ties along with Courtney's collection, as she has quite a few different Care Bear outfits and accessories. So this channel is another static TV option, very similar to the one that I showed earlier on. And then here we have a morning news station, and it shows a sun, and it says, Good morning, Orange Valley. Orange Valley is where Courtney lives and it just talks about a few different news reports, one about the arcade in the mall and then another one about Courtney's mom running for mayor. And after the Good Morning Orange Valley TV report, there are a few more static TV options. This one is just static while this one has a few different lines and this is an advertisement for the new movie theater that just opened up in the local area. And the final station is static but it has a QR code in the middle and you can scan that with your phone so you're able to look at other videos and activities too. So let's go ahead and add in the aerobics VHS tape to the TV. So all you need to do is remove the VHS tape from the sleeve and then you can add it into the section that says videotape at the front and the video should come on. It says American Girl Aerobics and it shows a few different aerobics moves. And there are a few different button options that are interactive. So first off, there's the pause button and it pauses the video and there's play and it resumes it. There's also a rewind and it says rewind on the screen and then you can press play and it takes you right back to the start. 
And there is a stop button as well. When you're finished with the video, it says stop and there's an eject button. So the tape does remove from the TV and it just takes you back to the original stations and you can go ahead and adjust it to the correct channel. Here we have an overview of everything a part of Courtney's TV and fitness accessory set. I love how interactive the TV is and it's really great how you can change the different channels and there's different styles of channels as well. There's the music video, there's the morning show, there's a video about Care Bears, and then we also have the classic TV options as well. And the VHS tape is a really great addition too. I do have to say the beanbag is quite large and it will take up a lot of space in a room setup, but it's definitely perfect for the 80s. And then we also have a few extra items that tie along with the aerobics and fitness a part of the set. This set is called Courtney's Fitness Outfit. There's a photo on the front of the box to give an overview of the outfit, and this set ties along perfectly with the TV and fitness accessories. So the first item we have here is the sweatshirt. It's gray, and there's pink and yellow on the sleeves, and there's a small graphic in the corner here, and it says, Move It Girl, and there's a star design around it. There is Velcro on the back, and I do have to say the material is quite thin, but I do have to say it's really great quality. Here we have the leotard. It's surprisingly very bright. It's a blue color and there's different designs on the front and the back. Definitely perfect for the 80s. There's no Velcro on it and it's made out of a swimsuit material. An 80s themed fitness outfit wouldn't be complete without a sweatband. It is very thick and it just wraps around the head like so and it's a very bright pink color and I love how the leotard matches the leg warmers. They're a blue color. And the final item part of the outfit are the leggings. There is elastic on the waist and there are loops at the bottom so you're able to wrap around the foot. There's no major design on it, it's just a very bright pink color. Overall, this outfit definitely suits Courtney's personality and style. I do love the design of the leotard and the pink and the blue being so bright matched together perfectly. And it has the exact same collector's guide as the one that was a part of the TV and fitness accessory set. So the next item we have here is Courtney's Pac-Man Arcade Game. It retails for $149 and it's an interactive game set where you can play Pac-Man on the machine itself. So let's go ahead and remove the packaging and open it up so we're able to take a look at the set. So here we have the Pac-Man Arcade Game outside of the packaging and this is such an awesome set. So as you can see, we have the side over here. It's a bright yellow color. It says Pac-Man and then there's some graphic detail towards the side here. Even though this set is quite heavy, I was expecting it to be a lot heavier. It is on the lighter side, if that makes any sense. You can hear it's quite hollow along the side here, but let's go ahead and take a look at the back before we take a look at the front. So here we have the back of the machine. There are some details at the bottom here. I'm pretty sure this would adjust the sound over here. There is a small opening and that's for the port so you're able to charge it. And I'm so happy with this because this is a USB so you can plug it into your charger or into your computer to charge it up rather than batteries or anything like that. And then we also have a switch on this side in order to switch it on and off. So here we have the front of the Pac-Man arcade game. There's a banner at the front saying Pac-Man and then here's the screen and that's where you play the game. And I love the detail on the side. It just explains the rules and how you're able to play it. And then it says start game. And there are two buttons there. So it says if there's one or two players and then this is how you control the character and you can actually play the game, which I think is so interactive and fun. And then if we take a look at this section, there's some detail making it look as realistic as possible. So it does say 25 cents. Of course, you don't have to place 25 cents. You just have to keep charging it. And then there are a few buttons over here as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at the instruction manual. I love how there's the Pac-Man game style at the front and it's in a variety of different languages, which is really great. There are a few different options, but English is right at the front here and there are two pages. It shows all of the switches in the back of the arcade game and it shows how the game works as well. So now it is time to play the Pac-Man arcade game. So there's a switch at the back. I'm just switching it on and the screen does appear and it has some writing at the front and we just need to wait for it to load before the game begins. So the first few screens show different companies that helped make the game, including Pac-Man and American Girl. And then we have a few of these different screens here looking like the game is loading. And here we have the home screen. It shows the different characters a part of the game. It has their character and then it also has the nickname right next to it as well. So in order to start the game itself, you press one of the silver buttons at the bottom of the arcade machine and that gives you a credit and then you can click start game. You can play the game with one player or two player but I'm playing it for one player for now and what you're meant to do is you're meant to move the joystick around which controls the Pac-Man character itself and you have to try and collect all of the items on the screen and when you eat one of the larger blinking dots that means you're able to collect the different characters as they're flashing blue. And also in the corner of the screen you can see how many points you get per round and a round finishes when you collect all of the dots on the screen. 
but if you do get caught by the characters, you have two more extra lives before the game entirely ends. And the lives continue with you throughout the whole game, so if you only have one life left and you move on to the second round, it will continue just having only one life. You don't renew any of it until you restart a new game. This game definitely takes a lot of practice, but it is so much fun. Overall, I would definitely recommend Courtney's Pac-Man arcade game. It is so much fun and very interactive, and if you love the 80s, you'll love this set as well. This accessory set would be the perfect item for Courtney's room setup as well. It is called Courtney's Guinea Pig Set. There is a photo on the front of the box to give an overview of the accessory items for the guinea pig along with the guinea pig itself. So this is how it comes in the box. You open it like so. And I do have to say the plastic is very thin on this item. It doesn't seem to hold in place and it does bend very easily in case if you're wondering about that. But we have the different items and accessories all in here. So we just need to remove it so we can unwrap the plastic so we're able to set it up. The first accessory item we'll be adding in is a water dispenser. So it has different paw prints and designs on the outside of it. And it is green as well. There is a clip at the back so you're able to attach it the compartment there and you're able to attach it anywhere you'd like but I'm just going to have it sitting there over by the side. And the next item we have here is the log cave. It is definitely one of the largest items a part of the set and that's made out of a plastic material but it is quite heavy and that's just going to sit right by the back and that can sit over there like so and it's great because you can move it anywhere you'd like. And the next item we have here is the food dish and it matches the water dispenser as well. It's a lovely green color and you can see the detail at the front that can sit over by the side there and then we also have some carrots as well, and they're all bunched together. There's a total of three, a part of the set, and that can just sit right next to it. So that can be the food section, then we have the water dispenser, and then the log cave in the middle. And then we also have a name plate as well, and it says parsley, because that's the name of the guinea pig. I'm going to have it over by this side, and we'll just attach it there, and it can be placed anywhere. It has the exact same clip as the water dispenser, so it's very easy to attach and remove. And what's really great about the set is that it does come with a guinea pig care book. It says American Girl Pet Care Series, and there's a photo of a guinea pig at the front. When you open it up, you can actually read the information inside, and there's different contents talking about characteristics, behavior, the home, and then it says nibbles and sips. You can read about it and you can learn all about the animal. So I'll just place that over by the side here. And then there's also a sheet of stickers as well, so you're able to decorate the set. And it is definitely very 80s for Courtney's character. And the final item we'll be taking a look at is the guinea pig. The guinea pig itself is so lovely. It's so small and tiny, and it's made out of a plush material. It does have a soft body, and it should be able to fit here along with the rest of the items. Overall, the set does come with multiple different accessory items for the guinea pig, and parsley is mentioned in Courtney's book, which is the name of Courtney's guinea pig. The next item we'll be taking a look at is Courtney's Pleasant Company doll. It retails for $30 and there's a photo on the front of the box to give an overview of the set. The set itself comes with a mini Molly doll, a box, and a few accessories as well. So let's go ahead and open it up. Each accessory set from Courtney's collection does come with a collector's guide, so this one here shows Courtney with the Molly doll, and when you open it up, there's information about her story, and then we also have the doll next to the mini doll over here, and then there's also some information that says, did you know, and it talks about Pleasant Company, which is what American Girl used to be, and it says the first three dolls are Kirsten, Samantha, and Molly. Here we have a miniature catalog. It says Pleasant Company, the American Girl Collection, and this here is a replica of a catalog that was released by Pleasant Company many years ago. We have different pages with the different dolls that were available, and then right at the end we have Molly, and then there's different circles showing items that were a part of Courtney's wish list. So we have some items that she circled on these pages as well. So now it is time to open up the mini doll. So it comes in a classic box, Pleasant Company, and then it says the American Girl Collection. There's a red ribbon, and what I love about this is that there's a Velcro piece, so you don't have to keep retying it. You can remove it, and then when you want to add it again, you can connect it like so. So we're going to lift the lid up, and then we have the book, an accessory, and then the doll itself. So I'll just remove the plastic along here. So here we have the meat book from Molly. Of course, it is called Meat Molly. There's different writing inside, and there's photos as well, which I love. It is so small, but you definitely can read it just to make it miniature size for the mini doll. Then we have a pair of glasses, and then the doll itself. And here we have Minnie Molly, so she has brown hair and gray eyes. She's wearing her classic meat outfit with a sweater and skirt. We have some socks and shoes as well. Here's what the back looks like, and there's some ribbon in her hair too. This item is a wonderful addition to part of Courtney's collection as it ties along with their storyline perfectly.
And the next item we have here is Courtney's bedroom set. It retails for $225 and it's the main feature item and part of her collection. It comes with a bunk bed with multiple different accessories as well. So the first item we'll be taking a look at is the bunk bed itself. So there is a top bunk and a bottom bunk. There's no rail at the bottom bunk. It just opens up like so. There's a board at the back of the set with a mirror over in the middle. The board is definitely 80s theme and has a really fun design on it to match the pink on the bunk bed itself. There's a mirror right in the middle of the bunk and there's a total of two shelving units to display the different accessories. One is located right above the bottom bunk and the second one is located on the outside of the bunk bed. So let's move the bed over to the side so we can see the features over there. So here we have the shelf over at the top and then the design on the backboard is so interesting. It's green and blue and there are some yellow and pink stripes at the bottom. There are a total of two sets of hooks. You're able to attach the pant hangers and the regular hangers that are included in the set as well. And here we have a view of the back of the bunk bed. We have the railing over the top, but the main part of the set is completely plain. Though the bed itself is quite heavy since the rails are made out of a metal material, so the set is quite sturdy. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the accessories. So the first item we have here is a telephone and an address book. It's a spiral notebook and the front cover has a unicorn and a rainbow on it. And what's interesting about the set is the pages itself. So all of them are different sizes. So the pages closer to the front of the book are smaller than the ones further towards the back. So it's easier to turn to the particular page that you're looking for. And within the book itself, there are different sections. You're able to fill out the name, the address, the phone number, and there's even a section for the birthday too. And the next item we have here is a reading book and it's called Sarah Plain and Tall. It's a paperback book so it's not hardcover and we have a picture on the front and over on the spine it has the title of the book as well. And on the back of the book there's some information about the story itself and some chapters of the story are inside of the book which is so interesting and you could definitely try to read it but it is miniature size so it's quite small. But it is a wonderful addition to the set. This item here is a wall calendar, so there are two pieces of tape attached to the back of it so you're able to have it displayed on Courtney's bunk bed wall. The calendar itself is very 80s theme, very bright and colorful, and there's different pictures with each month, so this says totally awesome, and that's for November, and as for December, it's very festive, it has a penguin and snowflakes on it. The next item here is a great addition to the set. It is a diary. There's a picture of a roller skate at the front and there's an 80s print on the front and the back cover as well. But when you open it up, there's actually writing inside so it makes it look like Courtney has made diary entries and you can learn more about her character. And there are a few drawings throughout the diary as well to match what she's been writing about. And the last few pages have been left blank. And in order to display some of Courtney's books, there are a total of two bookends a part of the set. So the bottom part of the bookend is a gray silver color, and as for the top section, it's more of an orange red color. And even though they are made out of a plastic material, they are quite heavy so they can stand and hold the books in place. So just to give you an idea of what the set looks like, I have the books in between the two bookends and they stand up like so. The set also comes with another reading book, and this one is called Molly's Surprise. So this book is actually a part of Molly's collection, and it is book three. The cover actually shows Molly, and it's holiday themed. But when you open up the book itself, it looks exactly like the real book, but of course it is miniature size, and there's illustrations inside too. Over at the back of the book, it says what the story is about, and it has the Pleasant Company logo at the bottom. This book is a wonderful addition to Courtney's bedroom set, since Courtney's favorite American Girl character is Molly. So just before we take a look at some more of the accessories that are part of Courtney's bedroom set, let's go ahead and set up the bunk bed first. So now it is time to set up the bunk bed and we'll be setting up the bottom bunk first. So the first item we have here is the mattress itself. It's a lovely teal color and that goes right at the bottom. And the next item is the comforter. So there's a total of two different sides to choose from. The first side matches the mattress itself. And then over on the other side, there's a rainbow print. So there's a total of two sets of rainbow and it's very bright and colorful. And this side actually matches the pillows that are a part of the set. So I'm going to be choosing this side. The pillow also has a total of two different options to choose from. So on one side it's teal and then the other side it has this rainbow print. And then if you line it up, to the stripes, it looks like it's a continuous rainbow. And then as for the other side, you can have it matching as well. So it looks like it's a really large rainbow that loops all the way around the bunk bed. The set does come with one decor pillow and it is of the Pac-Man. And this is such a lovely addition to the set as Courtney loves the video game. So I think that ties in with her storyline perfectly. The next step is to decorate this top shelf. So first off, we have the telephone and a dress book that can go over to one side. And then one of my favorite items in the set would definitely have to be the phone. It's so interactive and I just love how it's clear so you can see what it looks like inside and how the phone works. 
When you open it up, there's numbers on this side and on this side there's some information as well. There is a button which you can switch on and it makes a telephone ringing sound and it also lights up too. And the cord is a bright yellow color to match the bed. So I'm going to add that over to the other side right next to the telephone book. And just before we organize the accessories over to the back of the bunk bed, I've just organized the top bunk here and I've added the mattress and the comforter and I just placed it over on the teal side so I can show you what that looks like. And then we also have the pillows as well and they match the entire bed. There is no decor pillow, there's only one, so I've only added it to the bottom bunk. It would have been really nice to have a decor pillow for the top bunk as well so it matches. But one item that's a part of Courtney's collection that would definitely suit the teal pillows and comforter would be Courtney's Care Bear plush that comes with her sleeping bag set. If you were to purchase that set, you could also add it to her bedroom setup too. So let's add some more accessories over to this back shelf. So the first item we have here is the plant. It's surprisingly quite tall and it's made out of a plastic material. We'll add that over to the side there. And then the next item I wanna add is the book ends with the book. So we have one side, and then there's the three books. There's the Sarah Plain and Tall, the Diary, and then also Molly's Surprise Book. And we'll just stand those up. And then I'll add the other side of the bookend so they all stay up. There are a total of two hangers and two pant hangers included in the set. So here we have the regular hangers. They have a star design and they're yellow and pink to match the color scheme of the room. So I'm going to add one of the hangers over here and then the other one right behind it. I love how they're angling downwards so you can see the different outfits once they're added to the hangers. And then here we have the pant hangers. In case if you're wondering, they're made out of a plastic material and they're both pink and yellow again. So we'll add one over to the top here and then we'll add the other one right next to it. The set does come with a sheet of stickers so you're able to personalize the bunk bed. They're all themed to the 80s. I think my favorite one is the one here and it says totally radical on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to decorate the backboard of the bunk bed with the stickers. And since the posters are all different sizes, I just need to figure out exactly how I want them displayed on the backboard. So here we have the backboard completely decorated and I'm so happy with how it turned out. So the first item we have is right over here and it is the calendar and it is on September since it is September right now and you can constantly keep changing the months depending on what month it is. And then I've added all of the stickers throughout the board itself. So it says player one, dream, we have this one. There is a mirror behind that but I just added it on top of it. And we also have an ice cream cone. This one says California, I love this one. It's so perfect, it definitely reminds me of the beach. And then we also have the Totally Radical one and then the Maureen for Mayor over in the corner there because her mom is running for mayor. And just to give you an idea of the sizing of the set, here we have Courtney standing in front of the bunk bed. So it's roughly her height and she is 18 inches. I would say that it's not an extremely large furniture piece, yet it's not small either. So it's really easy to pack away and reset up when you're setting up a bedroom. I do love the pink and teal theme of the bunk bed and it also suits her storyline as well as Courtney does share a bunk bed with her sister Tina in her story. Overall, this is definitely a great set. It does come with some wonderful accessories and items and it's the perfect main feature piece to be a part of Courtney's collection. Collection. So let's go ahead and open and review some sleepover and slumber party themed outfits and accessories from Courtney's collection. So the first item we'll be taking a look at is Courtney's Care Bear Pajamas for Dolls. There's an image on the front of the box to give an overview of the set. It comes with the PJs, a pair of socks, and a scrunchie too. It retails for $28, so let's go ahead and open it up. So the first item we'll be taking a look at is the nightshirt. It's a gorgeous blue color and it's made out of a fleece material. You can see the sleeves are slightly lighter than the nightshirt itself. There is a graphic print at the front and it's themed to Care Bears and it matches her sleeping bag set perfectly. We have some of the characters and then it says Care Bears over to the side. We have the American Girl Star logo and here's the back. It has Velcro so it's easy to open and close. And up next we have a pair of fuzzy socks and they are so soft and I love how they match the sleeves of the nightshirt. One accessory item that's featured quite frequently throughout Courtney's collection are scrunchies. So we do have one right over here. It's a light blue color and it just works exactly like a scrunchie. Each outfit and accessory from Courtney's collection does come with a collector's guide. So this one here is themed to our slumber party outfit and accessories. So all of them will be exactly the same. We have the outfit, the sleeping bag, and the sleepover accessories too. When you open it up, you learn a bit about Courtney. We have a photo giving an overview of some of the accessories and the outfit too. And there's some more information as well. And overall, I really love how this set is themed to Care Bearers because it matches her sleeping bag set perfectly. So let's go ahead and open up that accessory set next. This here is Courtney's Care Bear sleeping bag set. There's a photo on the front of the box to give an overview of all the items. It comes with a sleeping bag, a pillow, and a plush as well. 
So in case if you're wondering, the set itself retails for $36, but the first item we have here is the sleeping bag, but I've completely opened it up so you can see the whole design across the bag itself. We have different Care Bears, there's hearts and stars, and there's even some flowers as well. It is so bright and colorful. There's a rainbow across the middle with different clouds, and we also have the Care Bear logo over at the top, and it's styled as a heart. In case if you're wondering, this is what the inside of the sleeping bag looks like. It matches the night shirt, and it's a gorgeous light blue color. And here we have the sleeping bag zipped up, so it zips open on one side and then also along the end there as well. And here's what the other side looks like too. And the zipper is very easy to open and close as well. Let's take a look at the pillow. So there's the Care Bear logo over towards the middle and there's a heart too. There's different stripes of pink, yellow, green, and light blue. The pillow itself is a dark blue and the back is completely plain, so you can choose to have it plain or you can choose to have the logo facing the front. And the last item is the plush, and I'm so glad that they included this a part of the set. I think it ties in with the PJs and the sleeping bag perfectly. It is of a Care Bear, and there are so many hearts. There's a heart on the nose, there's hearts on the feet, and then there's also a heart over to the side. It's a light blue color, and it's so incredibly soft, and here's what the back looks like too. The set also comes with a collector's guide, but it's the exact same as the other one, so I won't be showing it, but this set is definitely a wonderful addition to Courtney's collection. Again, I love how it ties in with the PJs perfectly, and the Care plush is so adorable. So let's move right along to the next item. This set is also part of the sleepover collection. It's called Courtney's Sleepover Accessory Set, and over to the side here it says cassettes really work in boombox, so it does come with a boombox, cassette tapes, and multiple different accessories too, and it retails for $50. Let's take a look at the cassette tape cases. There's a total of four. There's writing on the front of each one. It says Courtney's Mix 2, 3, 4, and 5, and Side A and Side B, and it talks about what music is on each one. And there's also a small little picture on the side of each cassette tape case as well. They do open and close, so you're able to store away the actual cassette tapes that are included in the set. So I'm going to do is this one here is cassette tape three. So I'll add Courtney's Mix in like that and then I'll close it, and it seems to store in place like so. And speaking of the cassette tapes, there's a total of four, so it says Courtney's Mix 2, 3, 4, and 5 on the front of each one, and there's a side A, and there's also a side B as well for each tape. There are two original songs on each one, and they're also bright and colorful too. A Slumber Party accessory set wouldn't be complete without some sort of game or activity, so we do have one here, and it's all themed to hairstyle. So once you completely fold it and style it, there are instructions on the back telling you exactly how to do so. You can choose the different hairstyles. So for example, it says here, try a fabric headband. The other one says try a side ponytail, and it features different accessories that are included in Courtney's collection. One of my favorite items a part of the set is this notebook here. It says doodles on the front, and when you open it up, there's different drawings inside. And you definitely get to learn more about Courtney and her character as well. And we also have a picture with pizza, and then here we have a pen too. And just before we take a look at the boom box itself, here we have some drinks and some food as well. So there's a bowl of tortilla chips, and the bowl does separate from the tortilla chips as well, which is great, so you can use the bowl for other food. The tortilla chips actually look quite realistic. They didn't look very realistic on the website, but they do in person, which is really great to see. And then there's also two cans of fruit punch. There's a straw. It says fruit punch at the front. What I'm really surprised about these items, though, is on the photo of the box, and also on the website, it shows them having handles, but in real life, they don't have any handles. The boom box itself is very interactive, and it has quite a few different features a part of it. So it is quite a large set, and it would be perfect to display in her room. There is a handle which lifts up and also folds back down as well. And this item here does open up as well, and then you can place it back down to the clip so it stays in place. There are multiple different buttons here, so this adjusts the volume. There's a play button, a pause button, and then this item opens up this section so you can add in the cassette tape. There's an off button. This middle one connects to the tape, and then this one over here connects to the radio. And then when you twist this, it changes the different channels on the radio. And then there's also some buttons up here as well that you can lift up and then you can also move back down as well. If you'd like to hear the music and the radio, be sure to visit my Instagram at AGOReceivesFan. So how the tape works is you press the yellow button and that opens this section up and you grab one of the tapes that are a part of the set and then you add it in like so. And when it fits, you close it and then you can press play as long as it's on the tape section and it should be able to play. And when you want it to stop, you can press stop, you can open it up and then you can reverse it 
so you can listen to the other song. It does come with that same collector's guide again that was featured in the sleeping bag set and the PJ, so I won't be showing that, but overall, I really do like the set. It is quite expensive, it retails for $50, but the boom box is very interactive and it comes with some really great items for a sleepover too. Here we have Courtney's Caboodle and Hair Accessory Kit. It retails for $36 and there's a photo on the front of the box. It is quite small, but it gives an overview and idea of what's included in the set. There are definitely a lot of different hair accessories included in the set. So the first two items here are scrunchies and they're so incredibly soft. The first one is a light pink color and the other one is blue. They just work exactly like classic scrunchies and they're a lovely addition to the set. And this item will be a wonderful add-on with Courtney's outfits and her mix and match collection as well. So there's a hair tie at the back and it's connected to a pink bow. Here we have the caboodle kit itself. It is surprisingly quite small. There is a handle on the top which lifts up and then you can also place it back down as well. The logo is over towards the side and there is a clip which opens and closes it. The bottom part is teal while the top part is pink. And when you open it up, there's quite a few different compartments for storage. So we have the nail stickers which we'll be taking a look at later on. So I'll move that out of the way. So you can add some of the smaller items over at the top and then you can open it up and it reveals a larger section for storage. So I'll remove all of those items so we can take a look at those two. But it definitely does add quite a few different items, which is really great to see. So once I remove that, I'm going to add these items back in place so I can close it like so. This item is a hairspray can. It says hairspray at the front and there's a design over towards the middle. It's a light blue color and there is a lid which is removable and it does actually press down, which I think is a wonderful feature for the set. This item is a hair pick. It's green and pink over towards the bottom and we have that logo over in the middle which matches the hairspray can. And then this item here is a green plastic banana clip and to open it, you just untwist it and it opens and to close it again, you retwist it and you can add it into Courtney's hair. There are a total of four sheets of nail stickers. All of them have different designs and colors. There's a teal one, a purple one, and two with patterns and designs on them. You can remove them from the sheet and add them to Courtney's fingernails and toenails as well. And if you'd like to keep them all in one place, there is a packet here that you can add them all together so you don't lose any of the items. The last item part of the set is this small makeup set. So it does come with an applicator brush and the handle is a blue purple color. There are multiple different colors over here and then there is a storage section over towards the side for the brush and it's styled very similar to the one that's a part of Joss's collection as well. And in case if you're wondering, here's what the front of the set looks like. It says Dreamer and there's a star design as well. This set does come with the collector's guide too and this one also comes with Courtney's bedroom set. So it's meant to tie in both accessories. So we have the bed and we also have the caboodle kit as well. When you open it up, there's a photo showing both accessory items. And then when you open up the guide again, it tells you about Courtney, her family, and then it also has a did you know fact about caboodles. This set is really wonderful. I love the scrunchies and the caboodle kit, and it ties in with their storyline perfectly because she actually receives a caboodle kit for Christmas. Let's go ahead and open and review some school themed accessories. So the first item we have here is Courtney's Pac-Man lunch set. It retails for $25. We have a photo here on the front of the box. We have a Pac-Man themed lunch box with multiple different food items too. Let's take a look at some of the food items of part of the set. So first off, we have a classic sandwich. So it seems to be some sort of meat and cheese and it comes in two slices. And when you put them together, it forms a completed sandwich. And then as for the dessert item part of the lunch, we have a brownie and there are sprinkles on the top and it comes in this plastic packet. Up next, we have some cheese puffs. So the cheese puff is over here and you can see all the pieces are connected as one large cheese puff. And then we also have the container as well. It says the name on the front with a picture of cheese. And in case if you're wondering, it's made out of a lightweight plastic material. There is a lid as well, so you can add the item inside and you can close it and then you can add it to the lunchbox. Up next, there's some apples. There's a total of three slices, but they're all connected together as one large piece. And then here we have an insulated container. This has to be my favorite item besides the lunchbox itself. It has a Pac-Man design over at the front and it's yellow to match the lunchbox too. You can open up and remove the cup over at the top and then you can add it back again like so. In order to store away the food and the snacks, the set does come with a lunchbox. It's bright yellow to match the Pac-Man theme. There's a Pac-Man image over at the front and it matches the one that's on the insulated container as well. This is definitely made out of a plastic material. It's very lightweight and there's a clip at the front so you can close it and then you can open it again. There is a handle which lifts up 
and you can also place it back down too. You can open it up so you can add the items inside and it seems to be quite large so I'm going to add the items to see how much fits. So everything does seem to fit into the lunchbox besides the insulated container itself. We have the sandwich at the bottom with the apples on top, the cheese puffs over to the side and the brownies just standing up and then when you close it, it does click shut so it will stay and none of the items will fall out. But this set is so lovely, it definitely suits Courtney because she loves the game Pac-Man so I think that ties in perfectly with her character. And then we also have a collector's guide so each outfit and accessory comes with a collector's guide. This one here is all themed to school so this one will also come with her school supplies as well. There's a photo of Courtney with her school supplies, her lunchbox and a classroom scene. And then we have some information about our character and it says all set for school so it shows some of the items you can collect for that collection and we have some more information as well so to continue along with the school theme here we have courtney's school supplies it retails for 30 dollars and it's slightly more expensive than the lunch set because that retailed for 25 dollars we have a photo on the front of the box and it comes with quite a few different school accessories so let's open it up A school supply accessory set wouldn't be complete without some pencils. There's a total of three that are included in the set, a green one, a blue one, and an orange one, and it has the number two on the front. And what's interesting about these items is that the erasers are slightly smaller than the rest of the pencils, so you can add the pencil toppers, which is a great addition. And then in order to personalize the set, we have a set of puffy stickers, and I don't think I've ever owned miniature sized puffy stickers, and they are so adorable. They're 80s themed, we have a TV, sunglasses, and I think this will look amazing on the binder, and also on some of the pages too. And in order to organize loose leaf papers, here we have two folders. The first one here has a picture of a dolphin, it says name and subject. And these items also fit into the binder as well, which is great. When you open it up, there's a total of two spaces to add papers. And rather than being on the bottom, they're over towards the side. And of course, they're just made out of a paper material. And then the second folder here says dream. It's very unicorn themed. You can see it's rainbow, there's unicorns and everything. And of course, it has name and subject again. And the folders are styled exactly the same with the storage over towards the side rather than on the bottom. As I said before, the eraser at the top of the pencil is slightly smaller than the rest of the item, so you can add the pencil toppers. So here they are, there's a total of three, one for each pencil, and they're styled to be erasers. The first one we have here is a dog, and it looks like it's some sort of poodle. It's so adorable, and it's a gorgeous teal color. The next one is a cat, it's pink, and here's what the back looks like, and there's so much detail even though they are really small. My favorite one though I think is the dinosaur, I think it's so adorable. It's a gorgeous orange color, you can see it looks exactly like a dinosaur, and you can remove them and then you can switch them around as well which is really great I'm really glad that they're not attached because you can style it however you want to in order to store away all of the different stationary items here we have the pencil case it's a gorgeous light pink color and we have an 80s design over at the front it does say pencil case over here what's interesting about the set is that there is a hole over to the side and that's actually a sharpener so you can add the pencil like so but you can open it up there's a total of two clips and once you lift those up the set should be able to open it up so you can add all of the different stationary items. So it does lift up. You do have to be careful. The set is made out of plastic and you can see that it is starting to bend quite easily. So hopefully it doesn't break, but yeah, it is made out of a plastic material. So this section does lift up and there's a total of three openings, one for each pencil. You can add the pencil inside, you can push it back down and then you're able to close it again. And then there's also some storage compartments for the erasers too. So the largest item in the set is definitely the binder itself. So there's a picture of a unicorn with stars and there's a heart around it with a rainbow as well. You can open it up and then this clip makes the items open and close so you can add the folders and the loose leaf paper. So there are some loose leaf papers included in the set. There's quite a few and they're all separated so you can choose to style them however you'd like. But when you open this up, you can add them in and then you can close it and they should be able to stay. And along with that, we also have these folders as well. There's a total of two of them, and then you can add those into the set as well. This set is definitely really great. It has some awesome back to school items. I love the pencil case, how it stores away the pencils, and the pencil toppers are really adorable as well. Out of the lunchbox set and the school supply set, I would probably choose the lunchbox set as I prefer the Pac-Man theme, but both items definitely suit Courtney's style. And the next item that we'll be taking a look at is Courtney's Accessories. It retails for $30 and it comes with quite a few different items. There's a photo on the front of the box to give an overview of everything. It even comes with a lip smacker as well.
Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the accessories. The first four items we have here are bracelets and you're meant to just stack them up on the wrist like so and you're meant to add all of them. They're definitely very bright and colorful. There is an orange one, a pink one, a green one, and a black one and there's an opening so it's easy to add onto the wrist too. And up next we have the lip smacker here. So it does say lip smacker on the front and it's peach flavor. You can remove the lip so you can see what it looks like inside. It is on a piece of string so you're able to wrap it around the neck and wear it as a necklace. And you can adjust the size as well by pulling on the strings to make it longer and smaller as well. This item is a button and it says Maureen for mayor and her mother is Maureen and she is running for mayor. There is a clip at the back so the outfits don't get damaged. And then we also have a cassette tape and we also have a case as well. So this is Courtney's Mix 1. There's a total of two songs and there's some designs as well. So it says Courtney's Mix 1 over here, side A, and then on the other side, it's side B. And it should be able to fit into the case so it can be stored away. So you can just add it like so and then you can close it. And the next item is a cassette player, so it's pink and gray, it says stereo at the front and there's an opening so you can see what tape is inside. There's a handle in the back so Courtney can hold on to it and there are quite a few different buttons at the top. There's a total of four, there's a play and a stop and then this addition here is to add the headphones in. So you can open it like so and then you can add in the different tapes that are part of Courtney's collection. So the accessories does come with one that I just showed earlier and you can close it and then you can open it back up again and you can switch it to the other side. So this doesn't actually play music, but if you purchase Courtney's sleepover accessory set, this cassette tape will work. And the last item and part of the set are the headphones. So they're pink, green, and yellow. And this item is open, so you're able to add it into the cassette player. This set is definitely really great for Courtney. It comes with some awesome accessories. I love how the cassette tape also suits her sleepover accessories and you can play the different sounds with that if you purchase both sets. The bracelets are really fun and the cassette player is awesome too. Let's go ahead and open and review some mix and match items from Courtney's collection. The first item we'll be taking a look at is Courtney's splatter print dress. It retails for $18. It comes with the dress itself and each mix and match item also comes with a hanger as well. So it does come with one. If we take a look at the back of the packaging, you can see all of the items available in the mix and match collection. We have the name of it with a photo of the set. You can see the splatter dresses over here. There's leggings and different accessories too. So let's open it up. So here we have the dress out of the packaging. It has a paint splatter design on it and that's very bright and colorful. There's detail over at the front and there's different layers to the dress as well, which I love. There is Velcro at the back and I really love how the design wraps all the way around the dress itself. I do have to say the material is very interesting. It's not a classic cloth material. If you can hear, it kind of feels like an American girl tent. This mix and match set retails for $16 and it comes with a total of two items, Courtney's t-shirt and Courtney's tank. The t-shirt's at the front and the tank is a bright green color. So the first item we have here is the oversized tee. There's an 80s graphic design over at the front and it's purple and blue and over towards the back there is Velcro. The next item we have here is the tank top. It's a very bright green color. They're stitching along the front, the side, and also at the bottom too. This item here is meant to look like there's a white undershirt, but it's actually just a piece of fabric that's been sewed, so you can't remove that. It's just the style of the shirt. And then here's what the back looks like. There's Velcro. For $16, I think this is a really great set because you can mix and match it with so many of Courtney's items, and you can style it however you'd like to. I'm really glad that they did include a pair of jeans, a part of the mix and match collection because it's a very classic item you can style however you'd like. So let's go ahead and take it out of the packaging. And here we have the jeans itself. So they do have a fold down waistband and there's a total of three buttons, but they're just there for decoration. You can't actually button them up. They're meant to stay like so. They're made out of a wash denim material and they do look very realistic. The bottoms are rolled up too. And here's what the back looks like. There's no back pockets or anything. There are side pockets and they actually work as well. So they aren't completely sewn together, which is another really lovely addition too. Let's take a look at one of the shoes that are part of the mix and match collection. So here we have Courtney's high top sneakers. They retail for $16 and I love the packaging of the set. It's styled like a shoe box. You can see there's detail over at the side and then over towards the front, it says American girl. Then on the other side, we have some detail about the set itself. So let's take them out of the box. These high top sneakers have to be one of my favorite items from this collection. There's so much detail to it. So the lace at the front is pink, but as for the shoe itself, it's plain white, but there's so much detail to it towards the back and the side as well. The bottom of the shoe is white and there's a total of two straps. 
which do open and close, and that uses Velcro, so it should be easy to add her foot in, and then you can close it like so. This item here retails for $18, and it's Courtney's cardigan. I love the pink, purple, and green together, so let's take a look at it. Let's take a look at this item. It is the knit cardigan. It is so incredibly soft, so it's pink at the front, there's two pockets, and then the sleeves are purple, and there's green and blue throughout the set itself. There's a total of three buttons, a yellow one, a green one, and a blue one, and there's some detail along the front here. If we take a look at the back, the design continues all the way across as well. Another one of my favorite items, a part of this collection, would definitely have to be Courtney's denim jacket. It is one of the most expensive mix and match items. It retails for $18, but it seems like it is really great quality and it has a lot of detail a part of it. This item is a garment wash denim jacket. There's so much detail to the set. There's a collar over the top and it's meant to be oversized so you can use the mix and match items and you can layer different outfits. There are buttons along here and they actually work so you can open and close the set. And then there's two buttons on the pockets as well. Here's what the back looks like. There's some detail there too. This set is called Courtney's Fashion Accessories. It retails for $16. There's a photo on the front of the box to show you some of the accessories included in the set. It even comes with some earrings too. So let's open it up. And the first item we have here is the headband. It's a bright pink color and there's a bow over at the top. It matches a lot of the items in her collection and there's also a piece of elastic at the bottom so it wraps around her head. I love how many scrunchies are featured in Courtney's collection, so I'm so glad there is another one included in this set here. It is a bright neon green scrunchie. There is elastic inside, so it's easy to wrap around her hair. And then we also have a pair of fingerless gloves. You can see that they're clear, so you can see through, but they're a gorgeous purple color, and they're incredibly soft as well. And the last few items of part of the set are some earrings. There are two pink earrings and two green earrings, and then there's accessories for the earrings itself. There are also pink and green. These ones are shaped as triangles, while these ones are shaped as stars. So I don't actually have Courtney's ears pierced. Hopefully I can get them pierced one day so I'm able to try these on her so she can wear them with her mix and match items. I would plan on purchasing the set if you were purchasing other mix and match items as they're great add-ons to outfits. This item is called Courtney's Skirt and Suspender Set. The skirt is a bright purple color and we also have the suspenders too and the set retails for $16. The suspenders are removable from the skirt which is great so you can add it onto any other outfit like the jeans for example. So I'm going to remove the clip here and I'll remove it to the other side as well and then over towards the back. It seems like there's some elastic here that we can remove so we're able to take the rest of the suspenders off but they're a bright pink color and they're really pretty. It'll be a great add-on to any outfit. And the clips are very easy to attach and remove as well. There's a total of four, two for the front and two for the back as well. And they're quite stretchy. They're made out of an elastic material, so it'll be easy to wrap around. As for the skirt itself, it is so much fun. It's a gorgeous purple color. You can see it's styled to be a bubble skirt. And then there's also Velcro at the back, so it's easy to open and close as well. Courtney's sunglasses retail for $10. They just look like a classic pair of sunglasses. They're bright pink and they come with a case as well so they don't get damaged. I do have to say the quality is not that great with the sunglasses. They're made out of very cheap plastic material which means they may break really easily so you do have to be careful with that. They do open and close like so so you're able to add them to the case. The case does not look any different from any of the other cases that are released with American Girl. It's pink, it says American Girl on the front and it's made out of a felt material. One of the most interesting items a part of Courtney's collection is our Courtney shirt and tie set and it retails for $16. The shirt itself is a gorgeous teal color and then there's a design all over the front and there's pink, yellow and green as well. It's made out of a very thin material so it's great for summertime. There's buttons along the front which can be removable so it's easy to open and close and the buttons are teal so they're not bright or too obvious either. The sleeves open up like so. So there are short sleeves and then they're also rolled up at the top as well. There's a collar and the tie is removable from the set too, which is great to see. So you can have it styled like that or else you can add the tie as well. You can also have it styled with other outfits. So it's made out of an elastic material and then there's also Velcro at the back too. So it's easily attachable as well. One of my favorite sets from Courtney's Mix and Match collection would definitely have to be Courtney's belt bag and watch set. It retails for $16. Of course, it comes with the belt bag itself and a watch. There's a photo on the front of the box to give an overview of the set. The 
The first item here is the belt bag itself. So it's black and there is a zipper at the front which does open and close so you can add different accessories. Courtney can take this to the arcade, to the mall, or to the school as well. There's a graphic print on the front that's very bright and colorful and we have the American Girl stars at the bottom in blue, pink, purple, and yellow as well. There is a strap that can be wrapped around her waist and there's a clip at the back which can be opened and closed and also the strap can be adjusted too. And the other accessory is a watch. So it's a gorgeous light pink purple color and it's styled to be a lot like a swatch. You can wrap it around the wrist and then you can clip it so it stays like so. This set is such a wonderful addition to Courtney's collection. It is so much fun and perfect for the 80s. This mix and match item is one of the cheaper options available part of the collection. It retails for $12 and it's called Courtney's Crop Jacket. It'll be a great addition to style with her splatter dress, so let's go ahead and open it up. This jacket is a hot pink color and it's cropped so it's just styled just above the waist. It has puff sleeves and it's also three quarter length as well. So the material is very thin and very lightweight. It has an American Girl tag over here. You can see the collar wraps all the way around to the front and here's what the back looks like too. You can definitely see the puff sleeves are a really obvious style choice for the jacket. There are two sets of shoes that are available for purchase, a part of the mix and match collection. There's the sneakers and then there's also these shoes too. There's Courtney's flats and socks and they retail for $12. I love the theming of the shoe box. It says Courtney 1986, the photo of the shoes, and it's styled so much like a shoe box. We have details over towards the side. I definitely love the detail added to that. So let's open it up so we can take the flats and the socks out. So the first item we have at the top here are the socks. They're bright blue color and they're just a classic pair of ankle socks. And then here are the shoes. They're a pair of ballet flats. This is what the bottom of the set looks like and they're a gorgeous pink color as well. This set comes with a total of two clothing items. It's Courtney's leggings sets and they're both styles to be very different. So the first leggings that we have here are the blue full length pair of leggings. There's elastic on the waist and the material reminds me of a swimsuit. And the second pair of leggings we have here are three quarter length and they're made out of a lace material instead of that swimsuit material. They are slightly clear so I'd recommend styling these with a skirt or a dress and it's a gorgeous purple color. There's elastic on the waist again and here's what the back looks like. The design wraps all the way around too and they also match perfectly with those fingerless gloves as well. So here we have both leggings sets together just to give you an idea of the style and sizing the set. This one is three quarter length while the blue leggings are full size length. But this set is definitely a wonderful addition, especially if you're purchasing the splatter dress or any of the other items so you can style them like so. And overall, the mix and match collection is so much fun and perfect for Courtney's personality and style. My favorite items would definitely have to be the denim jeans and the jacket too. So now it's time to go ahead and open up Courtney. So here we have the doll in the box. It says American Girl in the middle, Courtney 1986, and we have a photo of Courtney with her meat book as well. And there's a window over at the top of the box so you're able to see the doll inside. So all I need to do is remove the lid. Each girl of the year and historical doll does come with a book, so the book for Courtney is called Courtney Changes the Game and she is from the year 1986. Reading the character books are definitely a great way to learn about the character, the storyline, and their collection too. So let's go ahead and move the book out of the way. And here we have the doll itself, so she's wearing her meat outfit and all I need to do is take her out of the box. So now that Courtney's been removed from the box, let's go ahead and talk about her and her outfit before we remove the hairnet. So she has the classic face mold and blue eyes. As for the outfit itself, she has a bright blue crop top and it says totally cool and there's a graphic print. And as for the shirt underneath, it is a tank top and it's a gorgeous lavender color and I love how you can see it over the top of the crop top and they're not connected so they're separate pieces so you can use them for mix and match sets. The next item we have here is the denim skirt and it is an acid wash denim skirt. It looks so realistic and there's pockets as well. The pockets actually work so they're not sewn in and I love that detail so much. As the tights, they're a magenta color. They're so pretty and they definitely give the whole set a pop of color and it also matches her scrunchie as well. And as for the boots, they're very 80s. And here's what the back of the outfit looks like. There's Velcro both on the tank top and also the crop top as well and there's elastic on the waist of the skirt. And here's what her hair looks like in the hairnet itself. So you can see it is very curly. We'll be removing that so you can see what it looks like. But I'll just turn her over to the side and you can see the scrunchie has started to fall off. So there's that extra piece that the scrunchie is meant to be at. But I'll definitely go ahead and fix it up once the hairnet is removed. So her hair is a gorgeous honey blonde sandy blonde color and she has bangs and they're over towards the right. So now it's time to remove the hairnet. 
And here we have Courtney without the hairnet on, and she is such a gorgeous doll and a wonderful addition to the historical line. So you can see her hair is definitely very curly, and I just added that scrunchie back over the top of that spare elastic so it's not halfway down her hair. And I think that's a lovely neat hairstyle because it doesn't stand out too much, but it also really complements the outfit too. And it's really great because she does come with a lot of hair accessories. So you can choose to remove the meat hairstyle and you can try out the different hair accessories. And then when you're finished, you can add the scrunchie back again like so. Courtney's collection does come with a few pairs of earrings. So if you were to purchase Courtney, I would definitely recommend getting her ears pierced so you're able to try them on. So this doll doesn't have their ears pierced. So hopefully I'm able to get that done one day. So I'm able to add the earrings into. Overall, Courtney Moore, her outfits and her accessories are such wonderful additions to both the historical line and American Girl as well. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I really hope you guys enjoyed it.